So here we have configured our IP addressing schema on all the four routers. Now we will configure the EIGRP between them. Okay. So between router one and router two, I have configured the IP addresses which are 12.1.1.0 submit slash 24 sub. Okay. Between router two and router four, we have configured the IP address of 24.1.1.0 with slash 24. Okay. Between router three and router four, we have configured router one and router three. We have configured 13.1.1.1.0 slash 24 subnet. And at the last, we have configured the subnet is 34.1.1.0 slash 24. Over router one, over router one, we have configured one loop back, which is 1.1.1.0 or 1.1.1.1. Over router four, we have configured the IP addresses, which is 11.11.11.0 slash 24. Over router five, we have configured the IP address, which is 11.11.11.11. Okay. So as per this, we have configured the IP addresses on every router. Now we will see how to configure the EIGRP routing of protocol in this topology. So, can anybody tell me what is the command to configure the EIGRP router EIGRP? And what about the AS number? Router EIGRP. What are the AS number? What are the numbers we can configure in EIGRP as an AS number? What are the numbers? Can anybody? What are the numbers you can configure in EIGRP AS number? Yes, 0 to 65,535. That means total you can configure up to 65,536 number of AS number. Okay. Then you have to type what? No auto summary. Similarly, it also do a auto summarization. Default, it also do a auto summarization. So to stop the auto summarization forcefully, we have to say a command no auto summary. Then you have to advertise your own connected networks. Okay. Whichever you want to advertise on your neighbor router, you have to advertise those networks one by one. Okay, so from router one, if you will see on router one, which are the connected networks of router one, router one, the first network is 1.1.1.0. Okay, which is the loopback IP address which we have configured on router one. Okay, with a wildcard masking of 0.0.255. Now, what is wildcard mask? It's an opposite of subnet marks. Okay. In subnet marks, we configure one as a on bit and zero as a off bit. But in wildcard marks, it's completely opposite. One as a off bit and zero as a on bit. Hope you guys have done the subnetting carefully. Okay. And also you guys have remembered it. Subnetting plays a very important role. Huh? Subnetting plays a very important no role in entire networking. If your IP addressing schema subnetting is not good, then you can't do anything on routing. It's clear. Okay. Because the subnetting and the IP addressing is a relation of your networking. Okay. And it plays a very important role in your networking. Now, again, what is the second network? What we have to configure on router one? The second network is 12.1.1.0 with a wildcard marks of 0 .0 0.0.0.255. Why? Because everywhere we have configured the slash 24 subnet. The next network is uh, 13.1.1.0 with a wildcard marks of 0.0.255. Okay. 
these are the four uh, sorry three network which we have to advertise from router one router one okay so let's copy this and paste on router one console so what the okay here we have not defined the as number so any number you can use okay but it should be similar between two routers because because that is the prerequisite to be a neighbor okay if your as number between two routers are different so they won't become a neighbor to each other okay if you want a neighborship between two routers those two routers should be there a balloon sang that two router should be neighbor to each other so the as number is we have taken any random number which is what as number 10 now it's fine for router 2 what are the networks we have to advertise in vjrp on router 2 this won't come why because we have not configured any loopback on router 2 okay we have only some physical interfaces configured on router 2 one is 12.1.1.0 which is common for router 1 and router 2 as well okay there is the common network which is configured between router 1 and router 2 so this 12.1.1.0 network will also get advertised from router 2 the next network is 24 24.1.1.0 with a wildcard marks of 0.0.0.254. Okay. Similarly, copy this and paste on router to console. Done. See here. The time you will hit the command, okay, they will become a neighbor with the help of a dual algorithm. See, this is what dual algorithm. Diffusing update algorithm. IP, EIGRP, whatever it is, they have router one has become a neighbor with the twelve dot one dot one dot one, which what we have configured on the router one interface. This address which we have configured on the router one interface. Okay, so router two has become a neighbor with the twelve dot one dot one dot one. That means router two has become a neighbor of router one. Okay, adjacency. Adjacency is nothing. They use a term. to be a neighbor like we use a term like a neighbor okay so in ejrp they use a term known as what adjacency adjacency is a relation between two routers okay on router 3 okay the common network is 13.1. 13.1.1.0 and the next network is what 34.1.1.0 this two network you have to advertise from router 3 copy it and paste on a router 3 console then similarly we have to do for router 4 as well on router 4 we have a sub networks which are one is uh, 34 which is common second one is 24 Okay, and the last one is what network. The loopback address which we have configured eleven dot eleven dot zero. Okay, here we have to advertise the network ID, not the address which we have configured on a router interface. Okay, why? Because router does not understand the language of your IP addresses while advertising. If you want to advertise the IP also, that is also there. Okay, but there you have to use what. The subnet marks which is zero dot zero dot zero dot zero. Okay, so this will define what? Okay, this will define the address which is specifically okay advertised in EIGRP. Specifically, you are advertising your own connected network. Let's see how it works. Okay, go on router four. and configure this method then immediately once you will hit the command okay immediately they will become a neighbor see router 4 has a form a neighborship with a 24.1.1.1 which is your router 
Okay, also it form a neighbor with the thirty four dot one dot one dot one. Again, the router three. Okay, it has become a neighbor of router three. Now, coming from router one. Okay, what do they have done on router one? Okay, if you will see the routing table, to see the routing table, the command is show IP route. Okay, if you will see the routing table, the which is stand for what EIGRP. Which stand for what EIGRP? You want to see here. D, which stand for what EIGRP? D, with the help of EIGRP, we learn a network which is thirty four dot one dot one dot zero. With the administrative distance of ninety, ninety, what does it mean? It's an external, sorry, internal route. It is an internal route. That means this route we have or this network we have learned through an EIGRP only. Okay. The second column is for your metric. Metric is what bandwidth, load, delay, reliability, and MTO. Okay, out of these five values, they will only select what two, and those are what bandwidth and delay. Okay, for bandwidth and for delay, they use some calculation, and while using that calculation, they came out with this value, which is thirty thousand something something. Okay, three lakh seventy two seven thousand two hundred. Okay, why are thirteen dot one dot one dot two? This is your best path. Your neighbor is alive from last thirty seven second. Okay, with the help of Ethernet one slash zero slash whatever. The second network uh, is learned sir. from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, can you please explain us how exactly this thirty thousand seventy two hundred uh, okay. value is uh, showing here? Basically, we need to get some idea how exactly it is calculating on the on this topology, so we could have a better understanding. Okay. Thank you. Let me explain you how it calculated the uh, metric value in uh, EIGRP. Okay, let me show you. The calculation is something like this. Okay, between router one and see, assume this is your router one, router two, router three, and router. Okay, between router one and router two, you have a configured a bandwidth of. Okay, you have configured a bandwidth of, for example, I am saying one and this. Okay, between router two and router three, you have configured a value of something like two fifty six kb. Okay, between router three and router four, you have configured a bandwidth of five twelve kb. You getting me? <clears throat> All of you, getting me? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Sir. Okay. So for for C. Out of a five value, what I said is they use what bandwidth and delay. Okay, in bandwidth, what exactly they do? In delay, what exactly they do? Okay, so that two I will show you. Okay, so bandwidth, what bandwidth it says? Okay, in bandwidth it says ten raised to seven, ten raised to seven divided by ten raised to seven divided by Least configured bandwidth on a link. Least configured bandwidth on a link. Least configured bandwidth on a link into two fifty six. Into what? Two fifty six. This is the big calculation. That is why they are. Coming with a value of three lakh or something. Okay, it is for bandwidth. What exactly it does? Ten raised to seven divided by least configured bandwidth on a link. If they are configuring, if they are calculating, not configuring. If they are calculating a metric value for this link. Okay, in this link, which is the least configured bandwidth. Okay, the least configured bandwidth is two fifty six. Okay, least configured bandwidth on a link in kbps. In kbps. Okay, least configured bandwidth of a link in kbps on a link on kbps. So what it will do? Ten raised to seven divided by two fifty six kb into two fifty six. Okay, 
they will get around a value of something like one lakh or something sir. Okay. Next, next for delay, what exactly they they do for delay? Okay, delay for delay. It says what sum of delay, sum of delay from source to destination. Sum of delay from source to destination. That means sum of delay from source to destination. For example, uh, between router one and router two, your delay time interval in microsecond in microsecond is like of thousand. Okay, here you have like five hundred. Here you have like something like uh, uh, whatever it is, eight hundred or two hundred, whatever it is. Okay, so sum of delay means what? Two thousand plus a five hundred plus two hundred, which is what? Seventeen hundred, which is what? Seventeen hundred. Okay, getting me? Okay, what do it will do? It will do a uh, addition of it. Okay, and last they will get a value of one zero something like one seven double zero. Okay, so this is how it is calculated. Got the point roughly? Ten yes, raised to seven divided by least configured, uh, sorry, least configured bandwidth on a link in kbps. Okay, into two fifty six. Okay, that is the calculation which stand for a bandwidth. For delay, the calculation is sum of delay from source to destination. Sum of delay. Sum means what? Addition. Okay, sum of delay from source to destination. Okay, and that is will be the value. Addition of least uh, configured bandwidth. bandwidth here we have two fifty six, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In middle, uh, it will use what two fifty six in the calculation. Two fifty is two fifty six divided by ten is power seven, and multiply huh. by two fifty six, right? That huh. then huh. it comes the result. It comes the result. So whatever the result is, okay, keep aside. Then do a, a calculation for delay. Okay, and add both the values. Okay, so your result will be whatever the answer is. Uh, uh, you mean to say that one uh, lakh plus seventeen hundred? This is going to ha. be the bandwidth plus de delay, right? Ha ha ha. So that is that possible that we can plus. recognize that EIGRP is using bandwidth plus delay, or we are going to forcefully ask? The E I J E I J R P just use only no. two metrics. No, let me show you. Okay, let me show you. Did I configure anything forcefully here for a relation uh, related to uh, metric calculation? Nothing. Not not yet, sir. Not yet. Okay. Show IP protocol. See here, E I J R P metric weight. Okay, what I said. That day, yesterday, or whatever. Wait, K one is equal to what? One. Okay. K two is equal to what? Zero. K three is equal to what? One. K four again zero. K five again zero. Okay. That day only I told you guys. Okay. Those values are something like this. K one is equal to what? Bandwidth. Okay. K two is equal to what? Load. K three is what? Delay. K four is what uh, reliability. K five is equal to what MTA. Okay, out of this five five values, the two values which are in effect are K one, which is bandwidth, and K three, which is what delay. This is the default values. Okay, if you want to make any changes on this, if you want to make any changes on this. See guys, you have to ask me a question, something like this. Then only this uh, session will become uh, interesting for you guys. Okay, I am full with the everything. Uh, sure, I am full with everything. Ha. Huh. Let me complete this one. Sure. Okay. Okay. Router EIGRP ten or whatever it is. Router EIGRP hundred. Okay. We are not going to disturb our EIGRP AS number ten. Okay, so I used a separate AS, which is what router EIGRP AS. Here you have to type metric weight. Okay, metric weight. The first thing it will ask you for bandwidth, 
delay load reliability and mpu see here okay there you have to type one okay if you want to include see if you want to include this i uh, values i am configuring forcefully okay the first value is for bandwidth if you want to uh, include your bandwidth in metric calculation so first you have to say what one if you want to include delay in your metric calculation again you have to say what one if you want to include a uh, sorry the second value is for load and the third value is for delay okay again you have to say what one then reliability you don't want to include mtu you don't want to include leave it sorry okay 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 the first value is for uh, type of service toss value okay leave it okay one for bandwidth okay second for uh, load third for delay okay uh, fifth for reliability and last mtu for zero okay now see here show ip protocol this one is for eigrp as number 10 huh? they are now also they are using a uh, default values which is what k1 and k3 is equal to 1 and all others are zero k2 k4 and k5 okay but if you will see for eigrp as number 100 yeah what they have included k1 is equal to 1 k2 also 1 k3 also 1 k4 also 1 and the last one is what k5 which is zero what we have do it manually what we have done it manually forcefully okay the default values are this but for bandwidth and for delay the default value is this got the point so nothing we have done forcefully okay what we have done forcefully we uh, in eigrp as number 100 and any any k value any value uh, we can only we can choose uh, k uh, for bandwidth only we will take consider for bandwidth only no 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 come again can you make k uh, bandwidth one other or remaining all zero ah you can do that also okay you can do that also but remember one more point one more point if you are making any changes on router one okay on router one the same changes you have to do on router two as well why because to become a neighbor they have given you a set of conditions okay and that conditions are what k values should be similar between the routers right. okay as number as number should be same and k values should be same okay that means if you are making a changes on router 1 again you have to do on router 2 if you are making a changes on router 2 then you have to do on router 3 as well if you want a neighborship between router 2 and router 3 so wherever you want a neighborship there you have to do this configuration got the point okay. so better better leave it to default only leave it to default only if you want you can do okay but there are certain rules and regulation before doing this you have to make remember about this also okay somebody is asking something Uh, yes sir uh, uh-huh. so i have a quick question uh, uh-huh. uh like uh, by default uh, i mean uh, uh, for eager button uh, it took like bandwidth and i probably i guess a uh, load or delay as one and the delay. other three values are zero right so uh, is it is this statement not true that reliability by default uses value 255 and mtu yeah. uses 1500 value yeah yes yes but it yes, is zero if you want zero. to see No, 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 no. That is different, guys. You guys are making like I think uh, you are getting confused. Okay, see here. K one is equal to K one equal to one. What does exactly it means? What exactly it means? And say the one. Probably, probably huh? bandwidth is uh, one Mbps. On no. one is one. No. no. Okay, not one Mbps. The second guy is right. Okay, that means it is on. On means what? it is in use okay it is in use for metric calculation getting my point 
yes k2 k2 is equal to 0 what exactly it means of of in the calculation okay it is not in use it is not in use in metric calculation this is actually that what exactly it means sure sir okay so your concern for uh, like reliability is 255 yes reliability is 255 okay it won't interfere over here okay reliability won't come over here okay why because reliability value is zero i am not talking about that 255 254 and something yes. according to metric according to metric or k values it is zero that it means it won't interfere in your in your metric calculation okay okay sir okay if you want to see yeah. that also okay come here yeah. and see do you mind another question see. sir ha ah, come 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 yeah so, so as of now we have used ehrp 10 and ehrp 100 two of them right so ah. if we give two different interfaces in two different ehrp bodies like 10 uh, is given uh, is be a part of for example ge 0/0 interface and Very ehrp good. 100 is a part of 0/1 interface ha ah, ah. different interface you can do yeah so you in, can do in that case uh, will it be like ah. treated as two different vrfs completely or VRF. still can have Like no, just just for, for understanding, so ah. it will will it be treated as totally two different uh, entities bodies, totally, or totally, we can still totally. enable the intercommunication totally. between these two EHRPs? We can that. do, we can do, we can do. Okay, but by default, by default, the two are very different to each other. By default, yes. the two are not going to communicate with each other. By default, no. they are not going to exchange any of your EHRP packet with each other. Okay, okay 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 if you want yeah. if you want forcefully the two should communicate with each other okay there mm-hmm. is a concept known as mm-hmm. what redistribution with the help of redistribution okay. two different eigrp as number can communicate with each other okay sir thank you so much Go okay on. anyone yeah, um about the uh, configuration Uh, is it possible you can ignore the work card and um yeah you can yeah because yeah, you okay, can because i saw okay okay so i was thinking yeah, about yeah. it yeah, okay you so can you can mind. ignore the uh wild card mask configuration okay see here one more thing huh okay i am all ol- i am not only the responsible to give every answer if you guys know the answer you can also go for it huh if you are wrong i will correct it okay if any other knows the answer you can also answer that okay ha so you are asking ha you can ignore the wildcard marks also if you don't want you can ignore okay but in certain cases in certain cases you need it okay where exactly you need it that i will explain you uh, sir uh, is it true uh, if while we ignore the wildcard mask it will take the default submit mask like no. Is, like no no if you will give if you will give a no auto summary no auto summary command so they won't mm-hmm. they won't okay you want to see uh, yes sir, i is. could not understand the no auto summary thing actually i will configure one more loop back on router one okay mm-hmm. ip address i will set as a uh, uh, 12 12 12 we have done okay what is it 2.2.2.2 okay With a subnet yeah. marks of two five five two five five two five five zero. Okay, on router one and two. Okay, now I want to advertise this network in EHRP. So come again on EHRP AS number ten. First, I will remove EHRP AS number or no router EHRP AS number hundred. We have right. Yeah. Okay, which we use only for testing. We will yes. remove it completely. Then router EHRP AS number ten, okay. There we will advertise network, okay. Two dot two dot two dot zero network, is it? Mm-hmm. Okay. Without any wildcard marks, see, okay. The yeah. default That's subnet marks of two dot two dot two dot zero. The default subnet marks of two 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 zero is a slash eight. Why? Because it belongs to what class A. Class A, yes. Okay, but if you will see on router four. Now see on router four with what subnet marks that they advertise. 
to IP route. Slash 24. Yeah. Slash 24. It is with the slash 24. Okay. Because it so takes it doesn't the mean, uh, submit uh, from the interface. Uh, this is a classless routing of protocol. It is not a class code. Okay. okay. So it uh, it doesn't mean if you want to use a wildcard mask, it will use a default subnet mask. No. It won't use a default subnet mask. Okay. Now come again. If you will say, now we said what no auto summary, that is why they used what the slash 24. That means router yeah. one advertise the uh, configured subnet marks while advertising the network. Okay, we have configured the subnet marks, which is the slash 24. Okay, mm -hmm. while advertising 2.2.0 network, they advertised what slash 24 also. Okay, now yes, if you will say, uh, Auto summary. Then it will probably take uh, the class A no, subnet. Yeah, slash yes. 8. Okay, this is what the difference between auto summarization and no auto summary. Now, sure, again, if you, you will say, uh, now again, if you will say no auto summary, now mm -hmm. here. Go well, back to 24. Well, back to 24. Mm, yeah, there it is. Sure. Sir. Okay. It's back to slash 24. So there are differences between many things. Any doubt? Any more doubts? Yes. Everyone? Okay. This is the EHRP calculation, metric calculation. Okay. So with the auto summary, it will uh, have the uh, subnet, whereas uh, with the no auto summary, I mean, I think it's not getting the subnet. Correct me if I'm uh, wrong somewhere. No, no, I didn't get it. Come again, please. Uh, what I uh, expected from the commands mm -hmm. right now, uh, basically uh -huh. with the auto summary, it is getting the subnet. Right. Default one. The default one. Yeah, yeah, yeah the, the default one. Default With one. no auto summary, uh -huh. it is getting uh -huh. uh, only the network that has been advertised. Very good. Very good. Right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank so, you so much, sir. Okay. Few more tables we have on in EIGRP. The next table is the show IP EIGRP network. So IP HRP neighbor. Okay. How many neighbors do router one has? Router one has two different neighbors. One is router two and one is router three. As per the topology. As per the topology, router one has a neighborship with router two and also with router three. Router one will not form a neighborship with router four. Why? Because it is not directly connected to router four. Router 1 will only form a neighborship with router 2 and router 3. Okay. Now see here. Sir, uh, uh, sir, sir this uh, bandwidth we can see by uh, checking the interface speed. So interface pass can... Ethernet is 0 slash 0. 0 slash 0. Ah, how can... Which delay is also delay? there. Delay is also there. This is what? DLY. Okay, okay, got it. This is your delay value. This is your bandwidth. This is your delay. This is your reliability, which is 255. This is your load value. Okay, and your MTU is this one, 1500. Okay, so now, uh, to IP HRP neighbor. Okay, so as for the neighborship, uh, uh, this is the sequence number, this is 0, this is 1, this will come like 2, 3, 4, something. The first neighbor is 12.1.1.2. The first neighborship they have formed with router 1, has the formed with a router 2. On router 2, we have configured the IP address of 12.1.1.2. The second neighbor is 13.1.1.2, which is router 3. Okay, from which interface they have configured or they have uh, discovered this neighbor? It discover router one interface with a fast Ethernet zero slash zero 
it discover a neighbor of 12.1.1.2 okay second is ethernet 1/0 with the help of ethernet 1/0 it form a neighborship with a 13.1.1.2 okay hold on time 50 12 second hold on time 11 second it will never come uh, uh, below 10 why because in every 5 second they used to exchange a hellos what exactly this hello time means see here a uh, hello time which is of 5 second and hold on time which is of 15 second 15 second okay what eigrp says okay two routers always exchange a hellos to each other in every 5 second if any router fails if any router fails to send a hello okay so second router says i will wait for 15 second in 15 second if router 1 won't able to send any hellos i will remove router 1 from my list of neighbors i will remove router 1 from my list of neighbors okay so in every 5 second two routers always exchange a hello to each other okay if any router fails to send a hello to its neighbor router neighbor router will wait for 15 seconds to get a hello with router 1 if router 1 won't be able to send any hellos for 15 second router 2 will remove router 1 from its list of neighbors got it uh the next one is uh, from how many uh, like up time from last 27 minute 57 second 29 minutes 18 second see here these two values will never come below 10 eh? Hello. Ah, huh? okay. I think something happens. See here. It comes to nine and eight. Then again fourteen, thirteen, twelve, ten, fourteen. Again fourteen. Again ten. Fourteen, thirteen. It will never come below ten. Okay. If it is coming below ten, that means something is wrong between two routers. Okay. And then till fifteen second, like whatever the time is remaining. we will break a membership this is smooth robin trip timers no need to worry rto and something sequence number okay the third table in eigrp is show ip eigrp topology this is the complete table of your eigrp complete eigrp table okay here also you can see two different values two different values okay the first values is known as a feasible distance value and the second value which is known as what anyone advertised distance value uh, success sir ha huh? advertised distance advertised distance okay very good the first value is for feasible distance and the second value is for advertised distance now what exactly the advertised distance means what is the value what, like what is a, a distance from your next stop till the destination one, one second i guess one second
ओके सॉरी सो द फर्स्ट वैल्यू इज फॉर फिजिबल डिस्टेंस एंड द सेकंड वैल्यू इज फॉर एडवर्टाइज डिस्टेंस ओके नाउ व्हाट एग्जैक्टली इट मींस ओके लेट मी शो यू व्हाट इज दिस हां ओके if you will calculate from router 1 if you will calculate from router 1 okay from router 1 to router 2 okay according to this calculation whatever values you are getting huh? according to this calculation whatever values you are getting from router 1 to router 2 that distance value is known as what neighbor distance that distance is known as what neighbor distance okay from neighbor distance from neighbor router sorry not neighbor from neighbor router to destination router from neighbor router to destination router whatever the calculated distance whatever the calculated distance that distance is known as that distance is known as uh, advertised distance okay or you can say some one says like advertised or some says like reported distance okay then it is known as what advertised distance or you can say a reported distance and the complete distance from source to destination the complete distance according to this calculation huh? i'm talking about this calculation according to this calculation the complete distance from source to destination is known as what is known as what feasible distance is known as what feasible distance from your router to neighbor router the distance is neighbor distance from neighbor router to destination router the distance is what reported or advertised distance and from your router to complete destination router the distance is known as what feasible distance okay so here in eigrp topology table you can see two different values okay so the first one is first one is feasible distance and the second one is your advertised distance okay feasible distance means what to reach on 11.0 subnet sorry to reach on 11.0 subnet the complete distance is 412160 something like this feasible distance okay to reach on 11.0 network the from your neighbor router to destination router the advertised distance is this one if you want to know about your neighbor distance subtract this value minus this value from this value okay you will get your neighbor distance why because neighbor distance plus advertised distance is equal to your feasible distance that is the complete distance okay if you want to know if you want to know the complete distance so what you have to do you have to minus the advertised distance oh, also uh, advertised distance from the uh, feasible distance got the point so this is the third table ha ah, third table okay the first one is what routing table second one is what second one is neighbor table and the third one is what topology topology okay clear for everyone if you want yes. to do a ping testing like 11.11. .11. Eleven dot eleven dot eleven dot eleven. Okay, your ping will work. Uh, from router four, if you want to do a ping to router one, it will also work because this is completely converged topology. Okay, all good. Any doubt? Till now. No. No. Okay. Now what we will do tomorrow? We will do EIGRP. Uh, this. We will see EIGRP load balancing concept as well. I I think I told you about the EIGRP load balancing. In EIGRP, we have two load balancing. One is equal cost. Equal cost is like a default one. Okay. See here. Uh, on router one. You have seen also show IP route, okay? Not here. Show IP as a topology. Okay. 
ओके समवेयर वी हैव यूज्ड इथरनेट एज वेल एज इन एआईजीआरपी यू कैन सी द सक्सेसर एज वेल एज फिजिबल सक्सेसर आल्सो ओके दैट दे आई डिफाइंड यू द सक्सेसर एंड फिजिबल सक्सेसर वैल्यू एम राइट दैट दे वी हैव टॉक अबाउट द सक्सेसर एंड फिजिबल सक्सेसर व्हिच इज द बेस्ट पाथ एंड द फिजिबल सक्सेसर व्हिच इज द सेकंड बेस्ट पाथ ओके तो सक्सेसर व्हाट एआईजीआरपी सी इज ओवर हियर सी टू रीच ऑन 11.0 सबनेट as per the topology if you will see okay from router 1 to reach on 11.0 subnet you have two path one is from router 2 you can reach from router 3 also you can reach on 11.0 subnet but if you will see if you will see the routing table of router 1 there you will find only one path which is what to reach on 11.0 subnet the best path is 12.1.1.2 the best path is 12.1.1.2 But if you will see the router EIGRP topology table, show IP EIGRP topology. There they will show you two path. One is via 12 dot, one is via 13 dot. That means one is via router two and one is via router three. Okay, but out of these two, if you will see, okay, one is having a value of 41, 21, 60, mm -hmm. and the second one is having 43, 52, 500. Okay, so which is the smallest one? Forty-one twenty-one. Okay, that is the smallest one as compared to forty-three fifty-two. Okay, so that is the reason they store this route in its routing table. Okay, against eleven dot zero network, they store a route of four one two one six zero forty-one twenty-one. Okay, not the highest one forty-three six forty-three fifty-two. Okay. But in the AJRP topology table, you will see each and every possible path to reach a destination. So the possible path are both. But in routing table, they will store or they will kept only one path, which is a best one. Okay. So out of these two, the best one is what forty one twenty one, not forty three fifty two. Okay. So in future, in future, whenever whenever the router two link will goes down, okay. so again it won't keep calculating the second path or the best path okay what it will do it will check immediately it will check its topology table and there it will see which is the alternate path the second one keep it immediately keep it in routing table because we don't want any single drop is got the point any doubt so can you please help us to uh, know about these mm. codes how exactly these are working like passive active update query reply something like that and i also have a question regarding that before the successor there is a one i need i want before i would like to know there is a one i couldn't understand this point what exactly this thing is uh, if we see one any successor, line one successor one successor one successor And that what exactly the uh, role of uh, what is exactly the uh, mean of successors here? Successor is the best path to reach a destination. So how many successor do you have over here? See here, if you will come from here, okay. Now uh, passive that I will explain you. Active, passive, active. These are the states thing. okay sometime your route become a passive sometime your route become an active when it want to find out any uh, uh, this feasible successor and all that states i will explain you okay while updating its neighbor router it will see like u okay when it queries to its neighbor it will be like q okay when your neighbor is sending you a reply or your router is sending a reply so it will be like r okay sia state stuck in active state it is known as sia is stuck in active state okay that concept is different okay uh, so probably we can see this phases while we do the debug for the ajrp packets right ha uh, we can do the uh, debug also no, no, we, we can see we can yeah we can see this packets in the debug output right yeah, just confirm yeah, we can see we can see okay okay uh -huh. debug is the overall command if you want to see anything in depth Okay, debug is the overall command. Okay, but don't use debug in your production network. Okay, or else your production network will go very slow or it will go down. Okay, because yes, debug output is very big. Like 
in every microsecond it will send you something 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 okay, okay? and your production network is very big every time every second every microsecond something is coming something is going okay so never use a debug command in your production network or on your production router yes sir okay ha in testing in our lab in your practice you can use a debug command as many as what you want okay okay see this one is what nothing like it is like uh, having only one successor okay if you have two successor that means two best path to reach a destination if you are having two best path to reach a destination here it will show you two successor that means two best path okay successor is nothing it is a term term derived by eigrp for best path and feasible successor is nothing feasible successor is the term okay used by eigrp for second best path okay so here how many uh, best path you have you only have one path so it showing you you only have what one success one success okay here how many path you have here you have total two path but one is your successor only one is your successor that is the reason in eigrp routing table uh, against 11.0 network you can see only one path 12.1.1.2 is my best path you won't be able to see the 13. something 13.1.1.2 because 13.1.1.2 is not your successor route while it is not your successor route because it is advertising the higher fd value feasible distance value as compared to 41 21 What's the point? Are there still doubts? Yes, I clear it. Okay, so this is nothing like one success. Before one, uh, before successor one, it's like one successor, two successor, three successor. Okay, it can be up to sixteen in successor. It can be up to sixteen successor. But the default value is what four. If you want to see that, that will also I will show you. Show IP protocol. maximum path maximum ah uh, here it is okay how many maximum path does it will select it will select up to 6 uh, four maximum path up to four maximum path okay and uh, default uh, sorry default is four and up to 16 maximum path okay but in book as per book if you will see they say what uh eigrp calculate up to 16 maximum path what i also told you but by practically if you will see it depends on ios the operating system which you are using on your router it differs by your ios okay some operating system some ios supports up to 8 path some are good with 16 and some are good with up to 32 path also you know that okay let me show you Router EIGRP is number ten, maximum path. Maximum path. See, it is showing you sixteen. Okay, same. In exam, uh, uh, sorry, in book also they have written sixteen. Okay, but in case. you will find it somewhere somewhere you will find this maximum path along with maximum path it will be like up to 8 only with some ios it will show you up to 32 also it depends okay anything
Any doubt? Hope not. Okay. So again, tomorrow we will meet at the same time, like nine, nine ten. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, sir.